two weeks or so before the race, you have to really uh, ramp up the intensity a little bit, especially with like a crit start. It's uh, one hour all out, you can't just get into it and just riding easy uh, every day you have to you have to train that that sort of intensity already it's it's never the same like in a race for example in lead up to mm -hmm. you need the races that's why we start straight away from the season to really always focus on the sprints and doing the lead outs i definitely was more nervous than uh, yeah before. yeah same uh, i wasn't shaking but uh many races you just Crying go in crying a little bit, but uh, <laughs> it was pretty uh, nervous more than other races. Some races you just have some time to roll into it, but you don't really know where you're at. You know, you've been training hard, but how good you really are, you'll only find out racing. The positioning is really, really important. And once you have reached that, that goal just before the final sprint, you cannot do really a lot wrong anymore because uh, once the team got you in that position, um, you will stay there because it's so fast. But to really come there is uh, a lot of hard work. So that makes the team so important for me as a sprinter. So it's more important that I keep them in the front till about 500 meters to go. And if I can make it till 200, it's better. So I just tried to go all out till 500 meters to go and then realized I was going to have to do 300 more meters. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really painful. Uh, a couple of days ago we almost had a crash in training when Tom Dumoulin just went uh, all out in the brakes and he saw a kangaroo on the side of the road. I think we're doing 70k an hour and all of a sudden he just breaks out of nowhere just to stop to see a kangaroo. He's, he's, a, he's a nice guy to hang out with and we travel together sometimes and obviously in the bus to the starts and stuff. And, uh, we always try to make it uh, make it fun, uh, play some music, and we're not one of those teams where everybody sits with the headphones on. We actually uh, we actually talk, and, and it's always a uh, always a good talk. time. Yeah, some teams we don't talk, talk with each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it's big news. <laughs> never, 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 no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think myself. I guess um, going downhill with a bit of more weight and just get you down faster. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> physics, is it? <laughs> no, he's got some good skills. So being most sprinters have got really good skills, and he obviously uh, has to try to catch up to me in the descents because I climb faster. I am. True. They have done really well for. You know, brand new helmets it's all all brand new design and everything and, and it, they're actually very comfortable um, and Marcel was wearing the the aerodynamic helmet yesterday it's pretty cool still for an aerodynamic helmet it's very often that's the problem because it's completely closed and um, you get a pretty hot head on the net I will try to wear it on stages where I think that there will be a sprint at the end or um, where it can make a difference yeah I use the propel because for me as a sprinter, it's a very aerodynamic bike. When you think about the grid yesterday, for example, we sprinted around 72 kilometers per hour and it's all about aerodynamics. And it's very stiff, so with my weight and my power, I really need a stiff bike on my ass. And uh, that's, uh, that's, that's what I have with the program. <laughs>